All right, what is up, everybody, party people? Um, if you're the type of person who has ever struggled with coming up with content like I constantly do, um, or you have a hard time creating content for the right person, not just anybody, but the right person who's gonna come and buy your products or buy, buy your services, invest in your consulting or your coaching, um, whatever you're selling, then this is the podcast for you because we're gonna go over three specific places you can go to find better content or find better prompts or ideas to help you come up with the content, okay? Um, but at the, at the very, very uh, onset, the first thing I wanna do is, first of all, train your mindset around podcast content creation. So I always like to think about this, and I teach our students in the podcast launch formula, our, our mentorship program as well, the same thing. It's like, if you're struggling with content, then you need to figure out what is the end goal you wanna get them to. So reverse engineer the action you wanna take first. You want them to take first, and then you can come up with the content that's going to support that mission, okay? So for example, if I want people to go to our, say if I want them to go to our podcast launch formula program, because I just mentioned it, right? If I wanted you to go to that, then I would actually create content around the problems that most people in that program face, and then how we solve that stuff. It's um, and, and I've had a lot of great teachers about who've taught me this stuff, so I'm by no means saying this is my own method or my own methodology, but this is just what I've learned from my coaching, uh, my old mentors and coaches, and that is you always want to start off with, the, with the, the end goal first, and then you reverse engineer again how that is, what content is going to support getting people to that place. So again, if you have a program, say if you've got a, a coaching program that's maybe you know eight weeks long and it's like, two to $5,000, um, you're gonna wanna talk about the problems that you solve in that thing or in that place, all right? So for me, one of the things I always do before we get into the, um, before we get into the actual websites that I came on here thinking I'm gonna share with you, um, this came to mind, this is actually more valuable than that, and that is looking at your sales calls. So if you are taking calls for your program or your offer, or if you have a sales team, or if you have a setter, then um, you can ask those people, the setter or the salesperson, like, hey, what are the questions you're getting in DMs? Or what are your questions you're getting on the phone? Um, what are the biggest recurring things, right? And you may have already done this, but I think I challenge you to go back and to recircle and do this over and over and over again, like once or twice a month. Because your sales team is getting new calls and they're getting new objections and they're, getting, and they're, they're, they're finding new problems that the market's coming up with. I'm sure a lot of them are the same problems, but you're probably finding some new angles. For example, I've known people who want to launch, to launch podcasts to get clients. What I didn't know up until a little while ago was that they, part of some of them want to do it because they're afraid their ad account's going to get shut down, or they they're re, they're they're well aware that they're they are a, as one of my mentors called it, a one-legged stool, and you do not want to be a one-legged marketing stool because um, if that one leg goes, you're screwed. So, um, going back to what we were saying here with the content. Start with the end in mind. You obviously need to figure out where you want to send them, like what's the call to action before you actually engineer the content. Now, if you're struggling with the content or if you're saying, Lewis, I understand where I want to send them, but I have no like new fresh ideas and nothing I've, I can think of is getting me excited about podcasting. So that's a big thing, right? If you're going to come up here and create content, then it's got to be freaking exciting. Like you've got to like it. This is something you, you may love it, creating content, or you may not like it. If you're like me, I'm kind of like in love with it sometimes, and other times I, I want to break up with, with creating content. Um, so a, a, one of the first places I would send you to is, is a place called Answer the Public. And this is one of my friends, this is a, a website that I was recommended to me by a friend, um, and it's a paid site, but there's also like, I think you get three free searches in it, so you're able to go and, and, and type in like your own topic. Like for example, you could type in chocolate or, or weight loss for women over 40. And you can see what all the questions and all the different um, searches are coming up with. You know, so this is a great tool to use. Um, AnswerThePublic.com. Um, you literally just type in the topic. Like I would type in like podcasting or, or or launching a podcast, and it would come up with all these different topics of things you potentially could work to talk about. The second one is BuzzSumo. So BuzzSumo is um, it's basically what it does is it finds the content that's performing best. On, on different platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, um, tw yeah, I already said Twitter, um, and, and search. So that is a great one. I mean, it, it's it's another paid site, so you can pay for the more advanced stuff, but essentially the free stuff will get you 
we'll give you some good content here to look at and get an idea of like what's what you could potentially do. So that's the second one, which is BuzzSumo, buzzsumo.com to be specific. Um, so we've got answer the public, enter a keyword, um, BuzzSumo, same thing, enter a keyword and it'll come up with all the different relevant um, articles that are really, really trending. The last one, is, which is my favorite, is uh, Title Generator. So it's title or title-generator.com. And this comes up with like, I think it's like 700 um, website or 700 different titles. So if you are either struggling with content or you're struggling with what titles to put, like if I was citing this podcast, it would be like, um, like, let's see here, three ways to um, come up with content. Now, it, what it does is it has these like pre, pre-written scripts um, and pre-written kind of title formulas that they use to, to, to like take your keyword or take your idea and then turn it into a catchy title. But I like to use it for content as well because it gives you some crazy things that more or less you never even thought of, of talking about. And it can be something that's going to get people to click. And one of the things we share in the podcast launch formula is, is helping or help people with is, is how to like f- do their titles. So we do a lot of title revision and because and cause honestly what I've found with our agency clients is that if you have really good titles, then chances are your clicks are going to be up anywhere from 100 to 200 downloads, um, which is big over the, long, over the long haul, right? If you can get 100 to 200 more people downloading your podcast, that's extremely efficient. Now, 100 to 200 is, is based off the number of downloads they get. Like these clients are getting anywhere from 1,000 from to 30,000 downloads a month. So if you have less downloads than that, then expect the number to be less, like anywhere from like 10 to 20, okay? So it's, it depends on the size of your show. But um, if you're getting 1,000 downloads to, to, to 5,000 downloads, you could probably expect on the low end like 100, maybe 50 to 100 downloads extra um, with a better title, meaning the title's gotta be really catchy. So title generator, going back to this, gives you really great titles Uh, And it also gives you different ways to frame your content and and angle your content. So I love this site. Let's see how many it gives me. It's given me 150 if I keep scrolling. Yeah, I'm up to 300. Yeah, it it gives you a lot. Let's just just put it, leave it at that, right? I'm up to like what, two, 300. Yeah, it gives you 300 options of titles. But there's, these titles can also give you ideas for what kind of content to give or to, to, to share. So um, BuzzSumo, Title Generator, and AnswerThePublic.com, all really good sites. They will be linked below. Uh, and if you're still struggling with content and not sure how to s- formulate and put together a podcast that's going to help you build your brand but also get clients, then the Podcast Launch Formula uh, Mentorship Program may be the right fit for you. So hope that was helpful. Um, hope you found that. I hope you use some of that information, like go to those websites, figure out what content you're going to come up with. Um, one of the things we did with one of our clients that launched to number two, I think, in the in the parenting category a few months ago was um, we just took the top Q&As from their webinar. So if, you're, if you have a, an automated webinar or a, a webinar, a bonus tip here is to take the frequently asked questions and turn those into podcasts. And, and you can use that in your follow-up sequence for that um, for that webinar, or you can also just just send them the link <laughs> to that podcast episode so you can get more downloads and get them into your circle more. So lots of cool things you can do there as well. Um, another one we've seen people do is is when they have a support team and you're getting support tickets from your from your clients and customers, then you can use this, get those FAQs, create podcast episodes out of all of them, and then have your support team send the links to the podcast episodes when someone asks that question. So it's like Hey, great question. Um, so-and-so actually answered it in this podcast. So if you want an in-depth answer, then go here and listen to the podcast and you'll know exactly what to do in this situation. So if you have a support team or a sales team or not, or a webinar, then this is going to be very helpful for you. Um, and you can, you can use their questions as podcast content and to convert more people and get more people into your world. So that's it. Um, hope that was helpful. And I will see you later on on the next episode.